Do you like what you see? This is the six cheese baked mac and cheese. You can share this recipe with your family and friends. And if interested, stay tuned for the video. For the six cheeses, we have sharp and medium cheddar, mozzarella, gouda, Colby, and Munster cheese. Okay, so we're gonna start off with melting one whole stick of butter. Make sure you let that melt completely before you add your flour. Next, we're gonna add a half a cup of flour. Make sure you stir well. You do not want clumps in your cheese sauce because if you have clumps in your cheese sauce, it's just gonna be nasty and then you're gonna have to start all over again. Just to let y'all know, I personally like to season my roux. You don't have to do this if you like to season it when the milk is incorporated, you can do it that way. But this is just something that I've always done, so that's just me. I'm adding two cans of evaporated milk and then one full carton of half and half. Since I'm making this for my family, if you don't want that much, just cut the recipe in half. Make sure you mix the roux with the milk very well. You do not want clumpy cheese sauce. Next, I'm adding in two blocks of cream cheese. You're gonna stir occasionally, and then when it's fully melted into the milk, it doesn't matter if you see specks of cream cheese here or there, because when you add the other cheeses in, it's gonna to combine together and melt with the rest of the cheese. Now this is where the six cheeses come in. I have my mozzarella, I have my gouda, I have my monster, I have my colby, I have my medium, and I have my sharp cheddar. We're gonna go ahead and add that into the milk. Make sure you mix it completely until it's a nice smooth cheese sauce. Personal preference, I do not season my cheese sauce. Cheese already has a natural saltiness to it, so I just leave it as is. This next step is optional. I add paprika into my cheese sauce for color, but if you don't prefer it that way, you can go ahead and skip this step. Now I'm going to add my noodles into the pot. In the pot, I am boiling chicken broth, but if you do not like chicken broth, you can use water. Also, make sure you stir your noodles. That way they do not stick to the bottom of the pot. I've drained my noodles and I've added them into two bowls. Now this is where the seasoning comes in. Believe me, we like seasoning over here. So what I did was take a stick of melted butter and added a chicken bouillon cube to it. And I know you guys are thinking, uh, didn't you just do that? Yes, but remember, it's seasoning to your own personal taste. So I added that as well as garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Remember, personal taste. Then I have my sour cream and egg mixture that I mixed together, and I'm gonna separate it into the two bowls. It just basically makes the mac and cheese more creamy, and it also helps bind it together when it's cooking. After I let my cheese sauce sit and cool down, you see how thick and creamy that is? I'm gonna give it a stir and then I'm about to go ahead and pour it onto the noodles.
Okay, now we're almost at the finish line. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my mac and cheese to the pan. I like to layer my mac and cheese, but if you do not like layers to your mac and cheese, you can go ahead and just pour all of your mac and cheese into a pan and sprinkle your cheese on top for your crust. But we like layers over here, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, all the layers are done. Now it's time to pop into the oven. Look at this, y'all. Perfect. Brown crust, not burnt, just right. We just wanted to show you how thick and creamy it came out of the oven. But I highly recommend that you let your mac and cheese sit for at least an hour so that way the baked mac and cheese can set properly. But you'll see at the end how everything came together perfectly. This is the final product, all nice and set. I hope you like this recipe, I hope you enjoy it, and please, if you care, please share, and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.